Hey everybody, Colin Daniels here. This is my video blog series, How to Make a Record in Two Days. This is part 10, and this is Miss Maddie. Say hello, Miss Maddie. Uh, YouTube has a weird rule where um, if you post uh, 10 videos about the same thing, uh, you have to have a cat or a weird rodent of some kind. So I had to get Miss Maddie in there. So, to continue our lovely little saga, little, huh, I don't think so, uh, where were we, man, I don't even remember, oh yes, Scott Holcomb, uh, very nicely came back for day two, uh, so that, uh, he could lay down the lead acoustic part for Home of Love, and do some backup vocal, uh, backup harmonies on, um, Hey Colleen, uh, so Scott very nicely came back in for a second day, little tired from the party in the night before um, but he was a trooper and uh, added a part to that acoustic lead for Home of Love again I'm not trying to oversell myself or the musicians that I got to work with but um, as I said in the part nine there was a version of that on my uh, acoustic EP that I had released before um, called the darkness and the light that was just me and my uh, acoustic guitar and we actually borrowed those tracks um, and then added uh, Julia's uh, backup vocal part in the chorus and Scott's uh, lead uh, part on acoustic guitar to those two tracks. Um, and I just thought that um, I, I was pleased with the version I did myself on the acoustic EP before, but I just felt like Scott's uh, acoustic lead is just incredible and it just adds something to that song that just um, really makes it, just takes it to a whole other level for me anyway. So, uh, Scott uh, did his guitar, he did his uh, backup vocals, and so now we're heading into the afternoon of Sunday. There are only a few hours left, <laughs> and we got to get all four songs done before the end of the night. Um, so then it was time for me to sing. Now, if any of you know my history, you know that I was in a fairly hardcore punk rock band before being solo, and... The word singing didn't always precisely or accurately describe what I did vocally in that band. Um, so this was, I had sung on the acoustic EP that I did before, but this is the first time that I really felt like I was really putting my voice on the line and uh, really having to trust it. And uh, it, it was challenging. I think a lot of musicians struggle with perfectionisms in the recording, uh, perfectionism in the recording process, because it's very hard, you can tell yourself, you know, you can try to talk to yourself out of being a perfectionist, uh, but if you are one, I think it's very, very difficult. It's difficult for me, uh, because in one sense, uh, a record is just another show, really. It's just a show that you're recording, in a way, or you're recording it, you're putting it together in parts. Um, but in another sense, it's really hard to get that voice out of your head that says, this is forever! From now until the end of time, this will be the only version anyone hears. So if you make a mistake, it lasts for all eternity. But um, you really need to turn that voice down, otherwise it's really painful. I also hear that some people drink or use drugs. I've just heard that. I don't know that it's true. Um, but, you know, everybody's got their own way to cope, man. You know. Uh, so... Uh, it was. It was challenging for me because, uh, I mean, my sister is an amazing singer. My dad's an amazing singer. I mean, being in New York City, I literally saw and, and continue to see the most amazing singers in the world on a regular basis, you know, just as I'm going to some club some night to play a show. Uh, you know, the band before me will have this singer that's just got pipes that just make you want to just jump out of your skin with joy. It's just so... You know, so no pressure. There's no pressure on me at all. I'm totally confident in my singing voice that I'm actually using for the first time and is going to be matched with all these amazing musicians. I was fine. I was fine. Oh, just remembering that makes me freaking dizzy. Okay. But I uh, got through that. And again, Ian was a big help because at that point it was just him and me. And, um, yeah, so we finished the vocal tracks, got those laid down, and then we had to mix the record. Um, that was challenging, as it always is. Uh, it's tricky to know what to turn up, what to turn down, when to turn them up, when to turn them down. 
it was a bit easier with the final three songs on the original EP, uh, The Door, Home of Love, and Make the Escape, because we had a maximum of four uh, instruments and probably no more than six uh, individual tracks. Hey, Colleen was a nightmare. I mean, it was like a happy nightmare, if that's not a total oxymoron, which it might be, um, because I, I definitely enjoyed the process. I mean, listening to all the great work that everybody did was fantastic, but I really wish now that I had asked Ian to make like another record just for me, which was Hey Colleen with my vocals and just one of the musician's instrument track going so that I could just listen to just their track and my voice as the song progresses because um, we had so many so many instruments that it was really important at times to turn to take an instrument completely out of a part of the song or to turn it down or and then turn something else up and it really was a trial and error process that night um, as we were heading towards the end of just playing with different combinations and just trying to trust Ian and I trying to trust our own instincts about the feel for the song of like just what was uh, right to be turned up or what 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 felt right as the thing that you most needed to hear. Um, but it was so hard to turn somebody down. Oh my Lord. I was just, you know, I've heard stories of certain singers who are so low and who are kind of full of themselves. I'm so glad I'm not like that. And I think you are too. Um, you know, but who think they ought to be really loud and everybody else should just be turned down and I I actually felt like is it if I took my vocals out of this would that give more room for the other people because I like I got to a point where I was like I don't know who else I don't know who else to turn down Ian we've been turning people down for an hour and I, I, I just can't do it anymore no but um but as we went through it we got a feel for it but it did it took a while that was the longest it took me to mix any song ever that I've ever recorded um and so then uh, Ian uh, did the mastering all on his own, which he typically does for the records that I've made. And uh, we were done. And uh, I walked out of there Sunday night, having lost my original bass player on, and being notified of that Friday at 2. Um, musicians coming in from on the bus from Boston, from New York City, from New Jersey, um, coming in and out. Um, we got all four songs completely done by the end of day two. So we made that record, um, which I called Just Keep Going, and I released as an EP uh, in April of 2010, uh, and we made that in just two days. And so if you want to make a record in two days, I mean, I've given you 10 parts here. I don't know how much I, more I can do. And we're at the eight-minute mark again. So again, I'm that whole five-minute rule that I set for myself, pee, gone. I do want to do one more part. <laughs> Who are we kidding? It's going to be like six more parts. Like, have I not been watching, Colin? Really? Seriously? Uh, no, but I do want to do one more thing because I want to give people links to um, the other musicians' projects. And um, I also want to talk about uh, the full version of Just Keep Going, which actually has eight songs on it um, that I just released uh, April of 2012, which is when I'm recording this here. So. The original four-song EP, Just Keep Going, transformed into the eight-song LP. Um, just trying to alleviate any confusion. So we'll talk about that in part 11, because this was part 10. Oh my god, I've forgotten what part this was. <sighs> so much to keep track of when you're a rock star. It's like, it's not easy, let me tell you. I mean... I give myself a lot of credit. I mean, I keep up with a lot of stuff, but I can't keep up with everything. Okay, we're over nine minutes. All right, all right. So one final part. Thank you for watching. Keep rocking. One more part to go, I swear.